Hi, my name is Don Baker and this is my V8 project that's finally finished. I spent two and a half years on it and it was my first V8 engine project. It is 6.28 cubic inches with a one inch bore and a one inch stroke. When I was looking for a V8 project, I met Gary Conley at the trade show in Toledo. He had a production engine there that he makes. It's a 609 Stinger. He had it on display. I was really taken with it. It was the size I was hunting for for my next project. And it had features that I really liked. It had a pressurized oil system. Of course, it had covered overhead valves. And it had a race engine look. But Gary only sells completed engines. No castings, no parts or drawings. So if I wanted one, it was going to have to be my design and it was going to have to be a complete build from scratch effort. I call it my Barstock V8 because it is completely from Barstock, no castings. I use 7075 aluminum for all aluminum parts and of course the cylinders and piston rings are cast iron and I use 304 stainless for the exhaust stacks. I only use manual machine tools. No NC or computer controlled machines. The engine has external features from the Conley design and it also has internal design features from the General Motors LS series engine. It has three rings per piston, two compression and one oil. All are located above the wrist pin. I use the George Trimble method to manufacture the piston rings. I've used his method before and it works really well. I had no exhaust smoke and virtually no oil consumption right from the first startup. That's a personal best for me. The cylinders are wet sleeve and that means the coolant comes in direct contact with the sleeve. The radiator is a perfect size for this engine. It looks exactly like an automotive radiator. It was purchased, purchased and it saved me a lot of time by not having to build a radiator. Turns out that the computer guys like to hot rod their computers and they need a really good cooling system. So there's a big market out there for small radiators. I found mine on frozencpu.com. Both copper and aluminum types are available. Some are even USA manufacturer. Fans are also available. I used 120 millimeter size. I'm old school so I like my ignition systems with distributor and points. I use a standard ignition coil capacitor and points that I fabricated myself using tungsten contacts. I added a simple circuit to limit spark width to 300 microseconds and that was to do was to eliminate some point float. The result is a very hot spark with capability of 10,000 RPM. I have discovered that the good hot spark eliminates a lot of finicky carburetor settings. My 628 engine delivers the race engine performance that I was hunting for in spades. Throttle response is nearly instantaneous and it easily reaches 8500 RPM. I checked it with calibrated scope. Idle speed is about 2500 and it's kind of a rough strong idle similar to the dragster engine. I couldn't be happier with carburetion and ignition setups. They work perfectly. The starter is a Johnson motor. Johnson brand motor. It's 12 pole. I'm sorry, 12 volt, and it's three pole. It's 160 watts peak with 6.68 millinewton meters of torque per ramp. The fuel pump is an aftermarket automotive type, rotary, 12 volts, draws one to two amps, five psi. So I use a motorcycle battery that's 12 volts and 10 amp hours. It works really good. The carbs are Walbro. 
the right out of the box and I only modified the throttle linkage for the dual setup. My next project is be to add a belt driven supercharger and see how she runs then. So thanks for watching. Bye bye.